Tessa owns a small clothes shop in a seaside town. She records the weekly sales figures, W pounds, and the average weekly temperature, T degrees C, for eight weeks during the summer. The product moment correlation coefficient for this data is minus 0.915. Part A asks, stating your hypotheses clearly and using a 5% level of significance, test whether or not the correlation between sales figures and average weekly temperature is negative. So first of all, since this is hypothesis testing and we were asked to state our hypotheses clearly, we have to give a value for the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis. So the null hypothesis, which we can write like this, uh, we can say is when the correlation is equal to zero. There's no correlation. And then the alternative hypothesis, which we write as H1. Um, since we want to see whether or not it is negative, we can say that the alternative hypothesis is when it is negative, which is when rho is less than zero negative. So now that we've got this, we need to find what is called the critical value. Uh, and the way we can do this is we need to look in our table of critical values uh, and we need to look uh, for when n is eight weeks um, or when n is eight, because we were told that she recorded it for eight weeks. That's our um, sample size. Uh, and then we need to look for when the significance level is 5%, which is when it is 0 0.05. Uh, and if we look uh, at this on the um, in the table, we find that the critical value is equal to minus, uh, and we call it minus because it's a ne negative correlation in our question, minus 0 0.6215. So now we know the critical value, we can also give the critical region. Um, and because we know, again, in this question, we're trying to um, find whether or not the correlation is negative, uh, and our alternative hypothesis is when rho is less than zero, we know that our critical region must be when r is less than minus 0 0.6215. Um, we always use the same. Uh, so if our alternative hypothesis is rho is less than zero, then our critical region is r is less than the critical value, which is minus 0 0.6215. So now we have this, we need to look up at what the product moment correlation coefficient is. Uh, and we're told that it is equal to minus 0 0.915. Uh, and if we look back at our critical region, we know that minus 0 0.915 is less than minus 0 0.6215. It falls within the critical region. Uh, and if this falls within the critical region, we can say that we uh, we can reject the null hypothesis. We can reject H0, uh, therefore meaning we can accept the alternative hypothesis and that there is evidence of a negative correlation uh, between W and T. Uh, and now this will get us all three marks um, because our first mark comes from stating hypothesis clearly, which is what we've done here by saying what our null hypothesis and our alternative hypothesis are. Uh, now, secondly, we get a method mark for stating what the critical value is. So using the table to find that the critical value is minus 0 0.6215. Uh, and lastly, we get an answer mark for saying that because um, minus 0 0.915 lies within the critical region, we reject H0 and there is evidence of negative correlation, which is what we've said uh, in this last sentence here. Now we're asked for part B to suggest a possible reason for this correlation. So why might there be a negative correlation between um, W and T? Uh, and there are lots of different things that we could say for this. Um, any valid explanation as to why People might be spending less, shopping less, uh, when temperature increases would get you uh, the mark. But for example, we could say that when temperature increases, uh, it's warmer outside. People might want to go, go to the beach, go on walks. People might want to spend more time outside uh, instead of shopping. So therefore, sales would decrease uh, as people aren't shopping as much because they want to be outside. Uh, so that's one answer we can put. And now this would get us the one mark for the question because we've given a valid reason. Uh, and the key thing is that we've given a reason to explain this negative correlation. 
uh, simply describing the negative correlation in context uh, is not enough to get you the mark. Um, you need to give a reason, which here is that people are spending time outside, for example, on the beach, um, to get this one mark. Kassa suggests that a linear regression model could be used to model this data. Part C says to state, giving a reason, whether or not the correlation coefficient is consistent with Tessa's suggestion. So if we were to draw out a um, diagram of the linear regression model, when there is a strong negative correlation, um, which is what Tessa is suggesting could be used to model this, um, if we were to draw out a strong negative um, correlation, we'd have W on this vertical axis and T on the horizontal axis. Um, just because that's the way they'd be modelled. T is the thing that causes W to change, and therefore uh, they would be this way around. The line is a straight line where all of the points lie exactly on it. There's no variation. Uh, the points all lie exactly on this straight line. Uh, and for this to happen, we say that R is equal to minus 1. The product moment correlation coefficient is equal to minus 1. Now, in Tessa's case, her correlation coefficient is minus 0 0.915 and we can see that minus 0 0.915 is quite close to minus 1. Um, they're not too far out from each other and therefore we can say that as minus 0 0.915 is close to minus 1 that the correlation coefficient is therefore consistent with Tessa's suggestion uh, and this will get us one mark um, the one mark available for the question, um, we have to state that because r is close to minus 1, so because minus 0 0.915 is close to minus 1, that therefore it is consistent with the suggestion, uh, and that will guess. One mark. Part d is now asking us to state, giving a reason, which variable would be the explanatory variable? Um, so out of w uh, and t, which is the explanatory variable? Uh, and now what this is, is it's the variable that changes that then causes the other one to change. So in, our, in this instance, we can say that it would be temperature because when temperature changes, the sales change. Um, the change in temperature is what causes people to stop shopping as much or shop more that then causes sales to increase or decrease. We can't say that an increase in sales would cause temperature to decrease. You know, sales can't control the temperature, but we're saying that temperature can control sales. So we can say that temperature is more likely to be the explanatory variable uh, because sales uh, are likely to depend on the temperature. A change in temperature leads to a change in sales, not the other way around. Uh, and this will get us one mark. Uh, because we have to state that temperature would be the explanatory variable, but we also need to give some kind of implication that W, the sales figures, depends on T, or that it responds to a change in T. Um, one of those words is actually quite key in the mark scheme states uh, that they needed to they need to be used to get the mark. So saying that sales are likely to depend on temperature uh, is necessary for the mark. Tessa calculated the linear regression equation as W equals 10,755, take away 171t. Part E asks, give an interpretation of the gradient of this regression equation. So if we were to draw out this uh, graph, where we know that T is on the, what we would call the x-axis, um, because we said before that T is the explanatory variable, which always goes on this um, horizontal axis uh, and therefore this axis here is the w axis if we were to draw the graph um, we know it has a really steep gradient uh, and the way we know this is because a gradient of minus 171 means that for every 171 it goes down um, then it goes across on long, along the t axis by only one and therefore uh, an interpretation of the gradient of this equation is that we could say that for every singular degree rise in temperature, um, the weekly sales figures, W, drops by £171. Pounds. 
So there's only one mark available for this question, uh, and the way we get it is from saying this. So stating that every one degree increase in temperature leads to an 171 pound decrease in weekly sales.